Hi, and welcome back to another video on landscape photography. This is going to be a slightly different video. We are going to Iceland to shoot a location. However, this time, my image didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Sometimes in photography, you can plan something and apply all your technical knowledge and frame up the perfect composition, but when you get back home and take a look at the photograph on your laptop, you're still not satisfied. And that's what happened in this scenario. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how I applied simple minimalistic editing techniques to save my photograph. But before I show you how I saved my photograph, let's go back to Iceland. I wonder if there's a coincidence that every time I make a video, that the weather is nice. Uh, especially on Iceland, I feel like that really misrepresents what this country has to offer in terms of landscape photography. So uh, I feel like I need to make another video and I feel like today is a good day to do so because this is how Iceland is most of the time. Moody, grey, uh, and atmospheric. So today we're going to photograph the uh, black church, Budir. Can't really think of a better day to take a photograph of this church. And let me tell you guys, this church looks pretty darn fantastic. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, take a look. Okay, so I finally settled on the composition here. Uh, I'm actually not shooting this from a low angle. I'm doing it... Uh, almost straight on but that's because I want to get some straight lines in this image I feel like this is a church that's on a field with nothing around it and I want to show all that emptiness and cleanness so I'm trying to get my lines as straight as possible uh, with the horizon in the middle and uh, it's a hassle because it it's not raining but I need to make sure to wipe my lens every every 30 seconds or so uh, in between exposures. But yeah, I think this is it. Um, so I'm shooting it. I was trying a, I was trying a long exposure at first, but then the texture in the clouds disappeared, and I kind of want that. So uh, I'm I'm doing a. Uh, 160th of a second uh, shutter speed f11 and ISO 100 I'm using my 10 to 24 millimeter lens uh, zoomed in all the way almost at 20 millimeters and two second timer to prevent camera shake and that's it. Okay, so when I got back to my laptop and took a look at that photograph, I wasn't satisfied for some reason. I think that, um, like I said in the video, I was trying to show the vast emptiness surrounding this church. And the juxtaposition between the clouds, the dramatic clouds in the background, and the emptiness surrounding this church didn't really work in my favor. Before I grabbed that shot, I actually got a long exposure of that exact same composition. And I actually liked that long exposure better, simply because all the detail in the sky got removed by the long exposure. Meaning, by the time it took to take the photograph, the sky had moved, creating a soft, uh, creating a soft and gentle sky. But to make the image even better, 
I had to apply some simple minimalistic editing techniques in Lightroom. And just to be clear, when I say minimalistic editing techniques, what I really mean is editing techniques that allowed me to create negative space in my image. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did that right now. So uh, let's go take a look at the image. Okay, so now we got the image open in Lightroom. And as you can see in the upper right hand side of the screen, this was a 30 second exposure. And that really helped me eliminate the detail in most of the sky here. But there's still some detail left in the lower part of the sky. You can also see that the image is slightly underexposed. So to begin, I'm gonna increase my exposure quite a bit. And now you can see that there's almost no detail left in the sky. So I'm gonna work my way down here, adding some basic adjustments, increasing my contrast and decreasing my blacks slightly and also my shadows. Now I'm gonna try to remove the last bit of detail in the sky by increasing my highlights. All the way, like that. So what I've done is I've added a local adjustment to the image. I've increased the exposure of my highlights, meaning the sky. And now pretty much all the detail has been removed from the sky. To finish the job, I'm also gonna increase my whites, not quite as much, but yeah, something like that. And I actually think I'm gonna add some clarity just so you can get more of the detail in the grasses in the foreground. And maybe get, bring back some more color in the scene. Like that. So burning my highlights really improved the image. But I feel like the color in the grasses in the foreground uh, makes the image messy still. So what I want to do is I'm, I want to play with my uh, color sliders down here and try to make the colors in the foreground more uniform. So I'm going to adjust the hues of my greens, turning them more yellow. That right there improved it a lot. I think, I think that looks pretty good. Now the greens are almost gone. Um, I'm also gonna make my yellows a little bit more orange. Something like that. And I'm gonna make my orange just a little bit more yellow. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I feel like I'm, I can maybe make my greens slightly more yellow as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now all the grasses in the foreground share the same uniform color. My sky is completely rid of detail, leaving the church surrounded by all its uniformity and emptiness. Now the technique that I applied, commonly referred to as dodging and burning, really helped me make a more minimalistic photograph, which is what I was going for. I wanted to show how empty this place was and having a sky that is completely white helped me show the emptiness.
By creating more uniform colors in the grasses in the foreground, I simplified the scene further. Now I think it's important as a photographer to evaluate your photos when you get back home and properly edit them to emphasize what you were feeling when you were there shooting the image. So I hope you guys learned something from watching this video and that you can apply some of these techniques to your images as well. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel. And until next time, thanks for watching.